Greetings Magic fans and welcome to our latest game in the Magic series. On the left you have a blue-black uh, Aetherborn deck and on the right you have a blue-black Red Eternals. And without further ado, the Aetherborn player has the first turn. I shall start by playing a Swamp, not tapping it and getting a free Ornithopter. Oh my. Because it is the classic thing to do. The Ornithopter Pele. And pass the turn. Very well. I shall start by playing a Fetid Pools into the battlefield tapped. And I'll pass the turn. Two swamps. Metallic Mimic. When it is a battlefield, choose a creature type. Aetherborn. It's the chosen type in addition to its other types. Each creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. You must. So I could swing at you with my own but it feels a little bit pointless, so I'll pass the turn. Ah, oh, you should have chosen Thopter as the type. No, because it's already on the battlefield. It's only when stuff enters the battlefield. I'll play a mountain. Okay. And then I shall pass the turn. I'll play a submerged bone lord, hence the battlefield tap, taps on black and blue. And I'll poke you for two while you've got nothing. I'll take two. And then I shall pass the turn. I shall draw a card. Always a good start. And I shall play Crypt of the Eternals. When it enters the battlefield, I gain one life. I can tap it for one colours mana or pay one and tap it for either blue, black, or red. And then I shall tap these to play an Eternal of Harsh Truths. 1-3 with Afflict whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses 2 life. And it has whenever Eternal of Harsh Truths attacks and isn't blocked, draw a card. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. I shall pass the turn. Hmm, now I've got choices. Midnight Entourage. Uh, when it comes into play, it gets a plus one plus one counter because of the metallic mimic's ability. Other Aetherborn you control get plus one plus one. When Midnight Entourage or another Aetherborn you control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. Very well. Another counter. Thank you. I'll swing at you with that. It is currently a free two because it is in a youth form, so it gets the pump. Okay. Hmm. Very well. I shall take the damage. Yeah, I was going to say you don't you don't just say very well and then go to your turn. You've actually got to you know do something. Damn it, man! Yeah, I knew I was taking turn. that damage. Very well. Play a swamp. Good choice. And then I shall play Merciless Eternal. 2-2 two, two with a flick 2 again and has one black, two other discarded card and Merciless Eternal gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. Not bad. Now, hmm. I will pass the turn for now. Alright, didn't want to swing. Not yet. Just yet, anyway. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. I will go one, two, three. 
Tezzeret's Touch on the Ornithopter. Enchant Artifact. Enchant Artifact is a creature. Ah, uh, the classic. Uh, that's not the reason I'm putting on it. Uh, with base power toughness 5-5 five, five in addition to its other types. When Enchant Artifact is turned to a graveyard, return that card to its owner's hand. Now, as far as I know, does that get rid of its flying, or does it still have the base abilities on it? Uh, does it, it say? It does Enchant Artifact, and it makes it a creature. And but uh, I can still enchant it, but it turns its base power and toughness to 5. Doesn't say it removes any. No, no, it's still on flying. It. Well, that's all lovely then. I shall then. I'll play a Syndicate Trafficker, who again comes into another counter if you can pass me another counter. Yep. Swing at you with these two. Hmm. So it's a 5 5 flyer and a 3 2. Hmm. I will block you with the 2 2 here. I'll take hmm. 5. Okay, so 5 flying. Uh, mine's trade. a 3 2, yours a 2 2, so they both trade. Yeah. But as this one dies, I lose one life because of the Midnight Entourage because that is an Aetherborn, but I draw a card. Fair. Yeah. Splendid. And I will then pass the turn. Very well. Thank you. I shall play a swap. And then I shall play the Scorpion God. Nice. And then a creature with a minus one, minus one counter on it dies, draw a card. And I can put a minus one, minus one counter on another target creature. And when it dies, I return it to my owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Nice. I shall pass the turn. Cultivate a caravan. Ah, the old caravan. Mm-hmm. No elevator music, you. You're all tapped out, aren't you? Heeny, undying partisan. Well. Uh, comes in with a counter because she is. Oh, no, 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 sorry, that's the Mitanic Mimic. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up with that one. So, mm -hmm. But she does have haste if I wanted to swing with her. No, I'm pretty good. I'll just swing at you in the air with a 5 5. Very well, I need to get some flying defense here. Mm -hmm. And I'm all good. I shall pass the turn. Mm -hmm. First of all, I am going to say one red, one black, and one other mm -hmm. to do the Scorpion God's ability mm -hmm. to give a minus one minus counter counter on another target creature. Mm -hmm. I shall give it to Yeni. Okay, have you got any dice? I'll keep track. 
use a different dice. That's fine. Try I just something to just. That's fine. Okay. I will then pay one of this to produce another red, mm -hmm. and play Magma Spray to finish her off. She's then exiled because of the spray. Hmm. Now, did I want to do something about that? Your attack out, so that'd be interesting. Her ability, sacrifice another creature, she means indestructible. Hmm. Question is, do I want to do that? How useful is she here to me? Actually, you know what? I actually would rather have her die. Uh, so I'm just thinking in my head. Yeah, I'll let that go through, but the only response I shall do mm -hmm. is just so I get some use out of her, I shall tap that and... Let's go for the Syndicate Trafficker to crew that. Yeah. So the tap that counts as crew status as a creature for the turn, but then Nihini dies. When Nihini dies, uh, I lose one life. Uh, but, she's exiled as well. But, yeah. uh, but she still dies. Uh, uh, no, it says if that creature would die, exile it instead. Oh. Well, oh, yep, yeah, so I don't get that then. Yay, I don't lose the life. Alright, so now we've got a caravan to contend with. Yep. Hmm. I shall pass the turn. So now it's uncrewed again. Hmm. That is interesting. Uh, one, two, three. I shall play Scrap Trawler. When so a Scrap Trawler or another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand tar artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. Yeah. Uh, I will tap the Scrap Crawler to crew the Cultivator Caravan. Very well. And I will then... Swing with these three. Swing with those three, okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I can't do anything about the one in the air, so I'll be taking a five from that again. Mm-hmm. If you want to check any abilities, just feel free to ask. No, no, I think I'll, um... I'll put the Eternal of Harsh Truths there. Mm-hmm. And I'll use Scorpion God to just crush that. Well, crush it, but the Scorpion God's dying as well. Yes, to fight, I do. Fight. I know. Okay, so yours is a 1-3. Mm -hmm. and, and that's only when it becomes... That's the thing about the Afflict 2. It's only when it becomes blocked. It's not when it hits yes, blocks. I have a Okay, one second. Yep, I'm fine with that going through. So my dies as does your yep. Scorpion God, because they're both by fives. Yep. Whenever the Scorpion God dies, return it to the owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, I know. It means you have to play it, though. It's five mana. But because of uh, this happy thing, when this goes into the graveyard, I get to return a artifact or convert a mana costs lesser than it, so I get my mana mimic back. Okay. Uh, and here, mine is a... Four, uh, two, and four, going up two, to a five, three, I believe. Yep, fine. So mine does. And I take five from that. And you're down to one. Mm -hmm. Do I want to play this? I'll keep this in hand for the moment. Uh, I'll pass the turn after that. Very well. At the end, your end step, I get the scorpion go back. Yep. And draw a card. Don't forget to untap your banner. Mm -hmm. 
I have the scorpion back again. Nice to have you back. Unfortunately, I didn't draw some more mana, which I needed for other shenanigans. So I will have to pass the turn. So I believe your fire will be crushing me for this first game. Eventually, I'm killing you with an ornithopter. Essentially, yes. Hmm, that would be quite fun. I die. Very well. good. Game one to the Aetherborn. I'll see if I can get you back in game two. Probably for the best, I just started to draw my removal. I had Necrobolus the Deceiver in my hand. You were going to be playing him for a few more turns, I believe. Uh, like seven. Two more turns. This is very acceptable to me. As I lost last time, is it okay if I go first? Yep. In that case, I shall start once again with the Fetid Pools and pass the turn. And if you'll draw, I shall play a Swamp and then pass the turn. I shall play a Mountain and then... A Kenra Eternal. 2-2 two, two with a flipped 1. Yep. And I shall pass the turn. Or the end of turn. Bit of a waste, but just because I want to use it. I shall fatal push your Kenra Eternal. Destroy target creature has confirmed mana cost 2 or less. No! <laughs> well, I don't need having defense. Lego? Yep, you're right. This one. Play black. Gifted Everborn. 2 free Death Touch Life Link. Oh. A card many people will be sad when that goes. And pass the turn. Very well. I shall play Yes. Uh, no, actually, I won't play Swamp. I shall play a Mountain. And I shall play an Earthshaker Kenra. Oh, it's got haste. Haste 2 1. When Earthshaker Kenra is the battle type creature with power less than or equal to Earthshaker Kenra's power, can't block this turn. I choose the Earthshaker Kenra. Okay. And I shall attack you. Well, because I can't block it, I have oh, you to. You can, I said I pick myself. Oh. You want me to block it? It's up to you. I may want to take advantage of Eternalize later on. Oh, you've got a Magma Sprite. Potentially. Uh, I'll just take the two damage for now. Very well. And pass the turn. <laughs> I'll swing with a gifted evil. I shall take two. I shall gain two. Very well. And I've not finished yet. Very well. I shall play a further degree familiar to gain another two life. Oh dear. And when it dies, I draw a card. And now I pass it down. Curse your little fox. But he's so adorable. And metallic. Well, I can't have you keep using that... thing... Which thing are we talking about? I have multiple things at the moment. I shall attack you again. I shall block with a filigree familiar. Okay, he dies. So it's yours. Mm -hmm. But I get to draw a card. Yes. I shall then... Oh dear. Magma Spray. Magma Spray. <laughs> wow. And he's exiled. That was a hell of a lot. Mega? Yes, faster. No more likely for you. I feel bad now. You've got another one, haven't you? I may have just top decked another one. You monster. There are four in there because they are awesome. But do I want to play it? No, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to play an implement of examination. It's a three drop artifact. 
K1 Blue, sacrifice, implement of examination, draw a card. When implement of examination is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. So basically draw two cards. A lot of card draw. And I shall pass the turn. Okay. I shall have another fetid pools. Mm -hmm. I shall then pay four. For a Vizier of the Anointed. When a Vizier of the Anointed enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with eternal lives or embalm. Put that creature card into your graveyard and chuck your library. Whenever you activate an eternal or embalm ability, draw a card. Put a sinuous striker into the graveyard. Good choice. And I shall pass the turn. I will pay the one blue in your turn to sacrifice this to draw a card. And unless you've got some bizarre way to stop that going to the graveyard. I don't and know. Target artifact gains indestructible. I get to draw another card. Ooh, both lovely. And then I go to the start of my turn and draw another card. Oh, that's a card draw. Yeah, it's a nice handy little thing. You're a monster. I shall play a gifted leaf one. Mm -hmm. And a Jahini. Ooh. Who does have haste, but I won't be swinging with her. And I shall pass the turn. There you are. I shall be casting a Manticore Eternal. Ooh, very Five, nice. four, with the flipped three, and Manticore Eternal attacks each combat if able. Yep. And then I shall pass the turn. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm going to play Scrap Trawler. Yeah. Last one with the Geef did Eve Warp. Mm. I'll let me take two damage off me. Again, two. I 
special also play metallic mimic and choose a for born yeah and then pass the turn I think I will attack you. This is interesting. Hmm. I declared those blocks yeah. and I will then use Yahini's ability to sacrifice another creature, Metallic Mimic, mm -hmm. give her indestructible. Yeah. That is blocked, but yours doesn't obviously die because the block has been declared and yours is blocked, neither of us dies. Yeah. But I do take the afflict free. Yep. Then, in my second main, I will play five mana and discard a card, Merciless Eternal. Exile this to create a Senior Striker Eternal. Interesting. 4-4 four, four with play one blue mana, Senior Striker gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. Nice. And I shall pass the turn. Oh, it's just to clarify for camera, the Scrap Tools ability did go off with Metallic Mimic, but because Metallic Mimic is two and the two artifacts I have there are three, it couldn't bring anything back to my hand. Really? Hmm, I shall... Hate having to think it hurts. Use that brain here and use it. Good. So I'm just doing some math in my head. I suppose that could work. Mm, why not? Let's win with these two. Very well. I'll block Yahini. With? My senior striker. Okay. I will use Yahini's ability to sacrifice another creature to give her indestructible. I shall sacrifice the Scrap Crawler. When the Scrap Crawler or another artifact is mentioned to the graveyard from the battlefield, turn to your hand to artifact card in your combat graveyard because that kind of costs less. I shall return the Metallic Mimic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two damage goes to that. Her four goes to that, but she's indestructible. Mm -hmm. uh, two goes through. I gain two life. Yeah. I will. I can't remember if I play the land this turn. It doesn't affect me too much. I'll assume I haven't. Uh, I shall then play a. Sorry, I shall first play 
the metallic Nimic yeah. and choose a for Born. There you are. And then I shall play a Vengeful Rebel, which comes in with the additional plus one plus one counter and has the Revolt ability. The moment I control left the battlefield this turn, it did. Uh, I give something minus three minus three until end of turn, so I'll finish that off Very with well. the two damage. Okay. And I do have one other trick up my sleeve, but I'll save it. I shall pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What? I didn't do anything yet. Alright, so these are the only two you've got untapped, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if you have a way to deal with both of them. I'm going to eternalize the Earthshaker Kenra. Okie dokie. So, exile him. And bring him back as an eternal. Hello! The Assassin, yes, when it enters the battlefield, target creature with power less than or equal to Earthshaker Kenra's power cannot block this turn. I choose that one. Okay. And then I am going to swing again. Five, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I'll take all the damage. Okay, you take eleven damage. Uh, three, so I'm down to twelve. Very well. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, your turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. That will do nicely. A land. A free. Those scrap trawlers are very useful. Yep, they work very nicely in this deck. Especially with Ornithopters, too. Ooh. Uh, might have to try and travel a little bit. Yep. Uh, because it's not a I may, it's something I actually have to do. When I blew up your little guy, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one counter on you. Yeah, that's fine. It's just a thing. Obviously, if she gets bounced stuff, the counter's good. Uh, right. So. <laughs> I shall. Risky. Some of these. Okay, so that's three, three seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. nine, and I gain two back. So I'm on fourteen. I'm on five. And pass the turn. Do you have a plan? Does it involve summoning a nickel bolus? Potentially. I certainly wish we had not gained that life. Well, that's kind of why I've been swinging with it. I shall pass the turn. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I can't. I have to attack with the Manticore Eternal. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, I shall... I will just for shits and giggles on. Remember those ones are tapped? So yeah, sorry. Only got... Actually, did I want to kill it? That's a point. Actually, you know what? I would actually wouldn't mind having it off the board. So I will put those two in front of it. Supernatural stamina. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus zero until end gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its own control. Interesting. But it doesn't boof its defence thing. No, it yeah, just so. plus two plus zero. 
So it has enough to kill both of yours, and then it will just return to the battlefield tapped. Well, because of that, I'm going to do something just sneaky. I'm going to use Yahini's ability, because it's not a tap ability, to sacrifice the metallic mimic to give her indestructible until the end of the turn. Uh, this thing horribly, horribly dies. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are attacking with that, so I do take the afflict free. Puts me to 11. My scrap, uh, that dies, but doesn't trigger. The scrap crawler then dies, and I get the metallic mimic back. Did you follow that? Yes. And she shouldn't strap in the scrap crawl. Okay. Now it goes to my turn, because you attack with it. And that's your turn. <laughs> I think I'll play a metallic mimic and name a Ethelborn. I should stop naming a Ethelborn. Pick a thought to name it. I think I will then play a Syndicate Trafficker. Who comes in with a plus one plus one counter. Boop. <laughs> right. I'm happy with that. Hmm. I will throw my vizier of the anointed under the bus. I've been forgetting to draw cards with my eternalize ability. I feel silly now. And I shall let your other one through. Okay, your one dies, mine survives, and I gain two. That's okay. the important thing. And after that, I'm all good. I shall pass the turn. You top decking. Me? Ooh. Hmm. Well, I don't know what you're doing with the um, Earth Shaker Kendra, but I do know you're going to have to be using your Manticore Eternal. You don't have a choice about that. Yes, I think I'm going to swing with both. Oogly doogly. Three. Yeah, if I can manage that. That doesn't have um. Afflicted, does it? No. Back to that. Uh, Yahini to that. I shall use Yahini's ability to... I'll sacrifice the Vengeful Rebel to give her indestructible to end a turn. Mm -hmm. And I will pay one... For this guy's ability, sacrifice an artifact, I shall sacrifice the metallic limit, because I want it in the graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on him. He gets indestructible to end of turn. Very well. Uh, that one lives. I actually get the manticore unless you've got any tricks. Uh, no, but you will lose three life from a flit. Yep. That's a lot of indestructible stuff. Part of the deck. I shall then play Wasp of the Bitter End. Oh, boy. And I shall pass the turn. Uh, and because a creature that you control died, Yahini gets another counter. Because she's fun like that. Curse you, Yahini. You've got no cards, you've got that much mana, but I don't think you've got anything. I will swing all out. Very well. I shall die. Good game, sir. Good game. The Aetherborn have won that one. All right, Magic fans, I hope you like that one. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you like these playmats, they're going to be available on our store at a reduced price. You'll find a link in the description below.